In this lesson, I'll demonstrate how you can show that a matrix is diagonalizable. The question reads, consider A and P below. They're two by two matrices. Show that A is diagonalizable. Before we start doing this, remember that a square matrix A is called diagonalizable if there is an invertible matrix P such that D is equal to the inverse of P times A times P, where D is the diagonal matrix and the matrix P is said to diagonalize A. Take a look at this expression. We first have to find the inverse of P. And to find the inverse, there's a shortcut method to doing this. We use this formula right here. So we find the determinant of P, and I know it says A here. It could be confusing given that we have A over here. But just pretend that that's P and that's P. We find the determinant of P. That's not bad to do. It's a two by two matrix, so we can use the trick. Two times one minus the product of the opposite diagonal, which is zero. We already found the determinant to be two. So this part becomes one over two. And if we consider this A, B, C, and D as the elements, all we do is follow along here. So our D becomes the first element. Our B becomes negative zero, so it's simply zero. That becomes negative C, so negative one, and A is two. We will now multiply each of these elements by the factor of half. We get 0 0.5, 0, negative, 0 0.5, and 1. So this right here is the inverse of P. Next, I'll be multiplying this matrix to look at the formula A. So we have 0 0.5, 0, negative 0 0.5, 1. That part is the inverse of P times A, which is 1, 0, 1, and negative 1, times, again, P, 2, 0, 1, and 1. This is A, and that is P. If we multiply A and P together, we should end up with 2, 0, 1, and negative 1. And if we multiply the inverse of P, let me just rewrite its elements. By the way, I'm assuming that you know how to multiply matrices. If you do not, make sure that you watch one of our videos about multiplying matrices. They're both conformable matrices, so you should end up with a product that is 1, 0, negative 1, and 0. This is a diagonal matrix because all of its diagonal entries, this one and this one, are non-zeros. And these two entries happen to be zeros, which is what we look for in a diagonal matrix. Ultimately, what this tells us is that A is diagonalizable. And there you have it, a quick tutorial on how to show that a matrix is diagonalizable.